Today, we are more than pleased to have Lise here with us um, from Chew on This Tasty Tours. Lise is the owner and the tour curator, and she's here today to tell us um, all, about the, all about her company and answer any questions any of us might have. So really excited to turn the floor over to Lise. Um, I'll be driving, so Lise is going to let me know when, when to flip, flip slides. So over to you, Lise. Welcome. Thanks, Amy. Uh, good to be here, everybody. And um, let me just dive right in with what we've got for today. I'll just say, I hope everyone can see my screen, but let me know if there's any problems. Okay, so next slide. So um, I'm Lise, the owner and tour curator for Chew On This Tasty Tours. I have a background in hospitality and tourism administration. Uh, worked in hotels as a tour operator, tour wholesaler, travel marketer, and traveled extensively, though not lately. Um, lived in Langley for 25 years, and now I'm living in White Rock, and that's me down by the ocean, happiest when it's the most stormy. Um, my values from a professional standpoint and a business standpoint really align and have uh, lent themselves to creating Chew On This Tasty Tours. And it's all about supporting local businesses, small businesses. And um, I've always been a farmer's market groupie. That's where I like to do my shopping. So the focus is small towns and big flavor. And we invite you to sip, taste and discover local. Next slide, please. So our tours are sip and bite and explore tours and they're for everybody, essentially. Families, friends, couples, um, community groups. They're perfect for day tripping or overnights. We have a couple that are close um, in proximity so that you could have a tour one day, stay overnight and then do a tour the next day and it's a completely different experience. Um, next slide, please. So our target markets um, are culinary enthusiasts, people who are tentative about traveling outside of BC for the time being, and then visitors, both national and international, who want a small town BC. I don't know why I put small, <laughs> lowercase BC there, but uh, small town British Columbia uh, rural experience and to eat like a local. Um, people who are interested in history and its connection to food. So on the Fort Langley tour, we start off at Fort, a historic fort, meet with an interpreter, and they get to hear about um, food and farming and its uh, roots and tie in to today. Um, people who are interested in an authentic farm to table experience. Um, so again, we have another tour coming up this month and we stop at farms along the way and uh, experience different offerings, um, which end up as ingredients as our um, final fine dining experience. Uh, people who are passionate about local, homegrown, small batch, handmade, uh, will find that 75 to 80% is um, are women on our tours or shopping for the tours and they're between the age of 35 to 65 years of age. We're also um, available to corporate, team building and media custom tours. Next slide please. So uh, Chew on This Tasty Tours is all about strengthening communities one bite at a time. We raise the profile of individual businesses so there's some that have been in business for a long time, highly recognizable, and then others who are new kids on the block. And so we package them all into these culinary tours. This gives strength to the individual businesses and to communities by providing guests with multiple reasons to travel to a destination. Uh, we also highlight other businesses in the area as favorite places to shop and seek out while on tour. Next slide, please. So our current tours, we have our Six Bites and Murals City of Langley tour. This is a walking tour. 
And as the name would suggest, uh, we have SIPs. Um, that one actually includes two different flights. One is a fresh pressed juice flight, and the other one is a craft beer flight. So, you know, you got to have balance in life. There's also lots of other um, stops with great food items along the way. And then uh, Langley City is up to 24 murals right now, and we visit 12 of them in this tour. And we give a little bit of a deeper dive into the murals. Um, you can do a self-guided mural walk with the map that is available from Discover Langley City. Um, what we do is give them a little bit more information about the artist, the piece name, and the inspiration or story behind. Um, our family road trip also has a flight on it. Um, and it's a root beer flight. So, um, you know, it, the kids get a kick out of that. It's a great experience. And then lots of uh, great eating opportunities. And there's a photo scavenger hunt, a monthly photo contest that's just dedicated to the family road trip. <clears throat> and it's a combination of a walking and um, driving tour. So with this one, they take some food from one of the restaurants that we have on tour and they take it and have it as a picnic in a park. And that particular park that I've chosen is set up for rain or shine. So they can experience and experience that. Um, they also visit a farm on that tour. So it gives them a little bit of city and, um, and country on that tour. Uh, we have the Sip, Saver, and, or Sip, Stroll, and Saver tour in Charming Fort Langley. Um, it's currently on hold for the summer. I am looking at potentially doing weekday tours. Um, so we all know about over tourism. Uh, Fort Langley is visited um, with or without me. And I, you know, so that's going to be something that we look at um, with our tours and uh, trying to see if there's a, a market for the weekday tours and whether the, the restaurants are comfortable in receiving those people. There's a lot of understaffing. I know that industry-wide that's an experience and the Fort Langley um, folks are experiencing that. So just trying to be sensitive to that fact. So all of the tours are between three and a half to five hours in length with lots of time to relax, to explore and um, just really enjoy themselves. Next slide, please. So our upcoming tours, uh, we have, the first one is the Farm to Table Tasty Tour, and it takes the Langley Heritage Trail, um, starts off in historic Murrayville um, at a, a bistro that the building has been there and used as a general store uh, since 1888, I believe it is. And now um, it's a charming little bistro. And so they go from there along the Heritage Trail in Otter to um, Milner, which is where this um, shot is from. And that is um, a farm that was farmed by uh, the Smith family that's still, um, it's not them, the originals, but the Smith family still owns and farms this location and uh, maintain the 1910 heritage home that's on the property. And then we end up in Fort Langley. Um, we're, not, we're not spending a, a lot of time there, just meeting with um, chef and owner who really focuses on locally sourced ingredients. Um, so that's the full farm to table experience. Um, on the road again, Tasty Tours, a fun one in Abbotsford, we go, um, to a cafe and we go into an industrial park and discover a master chocolatier from Belgium who has won inter international awards. Um, they go to a garden bistro um, and they also end up on a farm and a winery. So it's a, it's a nice bite. Um, none of the tours when they drive are um, long periods of time in between. I would say kind of 10 to 15 minutes is the maximum. Um, but for the most part, um, yeah, it's shorter overall times. They don't travel a big distance in between. 
So um, it makes it uh, a fun, you know, more experience than drive. Um, but it gives them time for pausing when they do do the drive. Um, the next one is Old Town New Taste, and that's in historic Abbotsford, and that's a walking tour again. And it really seeks to feature and showcase all the great restaurants that have come up um, over the past few years. It's a hot spot. If you don't know about it yet, you definitely have to check out uh, the downtown Abbotsford area. There's so many great restaurants and cafes and um, we're going to be doing an ice cream flight. I'm a fan of flights. If you can't tell, it's all about getting a nice taste of what each place has to offer. Um, so uh, yeah, looking forward to showcasing that one. And I'm probably going to be, it's probably going to be volume one and then there'll be tour number two because uh, there's just so many different places to feature. Um, finally, the most recent one is the Spice Trail Tasty Tour, and um, this could be one of six. It's based on Discover Surrey BC's new Spice Trail, and basically it's split up into regions, and this is going to be the South Surrey region, and it's a combination of driving and walking, and the Spice Trail really features um, international flavors and so that's what we're going to be doing is um, breaking it up into smaller groups where we have tours and then uh, they explore and um, this is tour number one and they'll be going and having taste of uh, the different international flavors in that area on the map. Uh, so the above tours are launching June or July 2021. Next slide please. So our self-guided tours give guests an easy sightseeing day with no need to plan their itinerary or the food. They just pick a date, oh, pick a time, pick a destination and their tour partner. So two days prior to the tour date, the guests receive a timed itinerary, telling them where to start and where to end and then everything in between. And all tastings have been pre-selected that's something that we work out with um, the chef and the owner. And then they're also prepaid. There's no financial transactions on tour with the, um, the restaurant or cafe and the guests. It's all just um, taken care of in advance unless they decide to stop, um, you know, at the very end and have more to eat or drink. Then it goes directly um, to, to the restaurant. Um, so as we move further into the summer months, we may offer an optional guide add-on. So uh, these tours as self-guided have been super popular. People really enjoy the privacy, the safety, um, being able to, you know, just explore with uh, their friends and family. And of course, we want to be aware that as we move back into an international market, they might want or prefer a guide. And so uh, we'll see how that goes and have it available. And next slide, please. So these are just some of the um, uh, different tourism um, marketers that I've been working with um, to stay abreast of all the information and, um, and anything that we need to know, any opportunities. Um, they've been great in writing letters of introduction to, to businesses that they think would be great or suggesting businesses that they think would be great on tour. So next slide, please. And our past and ongoing collaborations. Um, I had the opportunity to appear as a guest on Fraser Valley Focus on their podcast to provide expertise in dining in the Fraser Valley. Um, currently working with several local hoteliers and an inn to develop some state and tour packages, which is um, definitely an exciting new um, getting back to things being a little bit more normal with tra traveling and, and vacations. And, um, you know, we're really excited about those partnerships. Um, so currently, we're working with over 95 destination hosts, which include the restaurants, cafes, gallery, and boutique owners, um, et cetera, from Abbotsford 
to Langley to Surrey and uh, look forward to creating more um, collaborative relationships in order to be able to offer not just those existing tours, but more custom tours as well. And um, to that end, um, we're currently cur curating a custom team building tour for the leadership team of a local corporation. And uh, we were invited by Discover Langley City and more recently Discover Surrey BC to create the tours for their communities. Next slide, please. So these are our social media channels. Definitely um, follow along. I'll be looking for hundreds of additional people. Um, and uh, so this is just where we seek to feature um, not only information about our business, but also call out and support other local businesses, whether they're collaborators with us or not. Um, yeah, we just uh, definitely want to let people know what's happening in their communities. Next slide. So this is uh, from our family road trip. Um, this young woman took the tour and submitted this picture. She's obviously got her uh, training from America's Next Top Model. Um, so this is our monthly photo contest on Instagram and therefore gift cards from local businesses. And uh, yeah, there's, there's one that's, like I said, dedicated for the family road trip and then one, one for um, all of our other uh, tour goers. Next slide. So uh, giving back, Chew On Those Tasty Tours has established an ongoing commitment to give back to our community with the Chew On This Tasty Tours Pippi initiative through Food Sources Food Bank. So after a conversation with um, one of the people with sources, what we found is um, they do get lots of donations, like actual tangible food donations from, uh, from grocery stores, bakers, you know, just different local people. Um, one of the gaps happened to be um, because there is a large Syrian population um, in the Langley community in particular, um, they, they like to eat beans and particularly um, chickpeas. So um, we like chickpeas. <laughs> and so that's how it was born is just basically to be able to tangibly say, when you buy a tour, uh, we donate a can and that represents one whole meal for a family. And um, so there's a blurb um, going on to the website, which just kind of describes what we do with this. And then also a, an opportunity for them to directly go to the source website and donate further if they wish. Next slide, please. So some of the stories, um, often our guests say they feel like a celebrity on tour. Um, they're always greeted by name. Uh, they have reserved tables and enjoy top-notch service. And that's really all about staying in touch with the destination host, letting them know who's coming, when they can expect them, any allergies. Um, we try and cater to, uh, you know, medically, um, uh, medical allergies. Uh, we can't unfortunately do um, something for every single person, but we also do offer custom tours and uh, there may be a vegan tour coming in our near future. Uh, some of our destination host staffs create exclusive off-menu items for our guests and other offer uh, unique experience for our guests only. Um, and many of our guests make new discoveries, even in their own backyard. We frequently hear, I never knew that existed. And this woman on the left-hand side lives about, I guess, a five minute or less walk from this bakery in the background. And, um, she has lived in Port Langley for probably about 40 years and never knew it existed. So that was a real delight. And that happens more often than not. So next slide, please. So this is what they're saying about us. Um, this is drawn from different reviews that we've had. Um, so top notch, perfectly orchestrated, well paced, new lens on a familiar place, showstopper, Hidden gem, the destination host knew our names, diverse flavor. 
Mexico uh, is the mural, one of the murals in Langley City. And um, yeah, definitely a favorite spot. Next slide, please. So uh, these are some of the people, some of the bites, some of the sips, and some of the places that we've had the opportunity to send our guests on tour so far and looking forward to making uh, an even bigger collage um, in the future and even more. Next slide, please. And I was telling Amy that <clears throat> getting up at the crack of dawn <laughs> pays off. This is uh, Fort Langley on the river, on the Fraser River. And um, this is one of the spots that we send our people to, not at this time, but uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely, um, we're rich in terms of agriculture, in terms of sites, food, um, you know, farming, everything that we get to send our people to experience the, the, the caliber of stuff and um, the passion for, for people in connection has been really wonderful and really look forward to exploring that on a bigger, um, more international level. So this is our contact information and um, definitely welcome any conversation, any questions and I believe that's it. I'll just open the floor if anybody has any questions that they'd like to ask Lise. Your time is now. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Don't be alarmed. I will be happy to share this presentation with everyone. So if you didn't jot it down yet, there's still time. Does anybody have any questions for Lise? I think we've, we've got a hungry audience. <laughs> Yes, I was thinking of that. Hopefully you ate before you came today. So um, Jen's asking, are all the tours self-guided? Currently they are, Jen. Um, they are, uh, they've been that way because back in November when we had to kind of say, okay, now what? Um, in order to keep going, we scaled down from doing our six people per tour with a guide and um, made this model of self-guided. And so, yes, they are that way for now. Um, we will continue to offer it because they have been so incredibly popular as such. It's kind of like a date day, um, you know, like going on a date with your, with your guy or your girlfriends without anybody else around. And so, um, I don't see them going away. However, um, there's the possibility of a, a guide add-on to people who may want that. We have another question here, a couple of questions in the chat. Um, the first one, um, are, are knowing you know the tours are self-guided, are they offered in English only? Yes, currently they are only offered in English, but as we are you know moving in this direction, I would say if you're able to give me, um, give us enough advance notice, um, then like I would absolutely 100% be open to um, getting translation. Um, if it's a self-guided uh, tour um, that, you know, has the, the itinerary with all the details so we can get that translated or um, to getting a guide that is able to to cater to the people who are coming, you know, from wherever. I think that's really important that we not be insular and think that uh, it's all about um, English. We just want to have everybody um, experience what we have to offer. Great, thanks, Lise. We think so too. Yeah. Um, we have another question here from Leona. Leona works on the travel trade team, so maybe we knew this one was coming. She's asking, <laughs> are you already or do you have any plans to be working with Travel Trade? Uh, so specifically, what are you thinking? I think she's thinking. I think she's talking specifically around some of our international Travel Trade partners. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not yet. I'm open. Definitely, we are completely a hundred percent open to um, to working and to discussing. I mean, you can't uh, grow without any discussion of possibilities and um, yeah, guys limit. Um, so definitely 
if you want to discuss it further, talk about what possibilities are, let me know. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Jen is, is piping in to remind us all that we have, a, we actually have a, some pretty good resources in our learning center. I was already giving Lee's the cell on our learning center before you all joined awesome. us earlier. Um, but yeah, we have an awesome guide around working with travel trade that is going to be useful. I'll add that to the list. Indeed. <laughs> Any other questions from anyone? I've, I've turned into, I'm in a darkness now. Never mind. <laughs> I'm really glad that so many people were able to join us here today. Um, I can't see them. I'm not sure. We can't see any of your beautiful faces, but we know you're there. Huh. Here's, here's another question. Are you open to hosting travel media? Oh, 100%. Yeah, and that's actually on the horizon. I've um, We've been talking to Tourism Langley and there is it Serena PR um, did contact me about, <clears throat> um, I think it was Joy TV. Um, so, you know, on a more, that's a community level, but definitely right. want to go into, um, you know, other people. Um, I know that, uh, Angie Chu, also from Discover Surrey, BC, um, was wanting, you know, really, this is something that she wants to be uh, available to the, the travel media, um, the new tour, the Spice tour. Excellent. Can't wait to try that. <laughs> I've been doing tour research this week, I bet. so <laughs> check out the Instagram. It's um, it's full of pictures and food suggestions and, and you don't even know. It, I might check so back after lunch. That's just yeah. me. Yeah. I'm hungry. Uh, okay. Well, I'm going to give out a last call for questions. Um, Leona's reminding us that we'll connect you with Heather McGilvery, who's our trade and media person for the Vancouver Coast and Mountains area. So we'll take care of that. Leona, thanks for that. Um, everybody, thanks for being here today. Thanks for taking the time to listen to Lee's and to get yourselves all worked up and hungry. Yay, travel uh, again. Be sharing this presentation with you all. So thanks again for joining us. Lee's, you and I will stay on here a little bit longer. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Bye, everybody. Thanks so much for your time. <laughs> Jen said thanks, but I have to go eat now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Jen, oops, stopping. <laughs>